What's good YouTube? It's your man BG Tech Life. And today, I want to talk to y'all about something different. I use an iPhone 14 Pro. I done had this device for over a year and I always keep an iPhone on deck. So I want to talk to y'all about why me, myself, an Android user always keeps an iPhone on deck and I want to talk about my experience with the 14 Pro over the year. Okay guys, so let's just get straight into it. I use the iPhone 14 Pro secondary to Android, and let's just talk about that for a minute. First of all, this is a productivity device for me, and that's what I mainly use it for. And here's some of my caveats about why I could not just use it all the time, why I couldn't just have one iPhone and be happy with that. To me, guys, right now, as far as the UI, the interface, as far as iOS, it, it is pretty smooth. It's pretty smooth, but the customization that's there is just too awkward for me to want to primarily use this device. One thing that I love about Android devices is the customization and different launches and then being able to make your device look how you want it to look and to operate how you want it to operate. With that on the iOS side, guys, that freedom is not really there. They have made some changes with widgets and things of that nature, but it's not as full on and as easy as when you use an Android device. Also, just things like the keyboard. I haven't tried any third party keyboards, but just the iOS keyboard and the lack of a clipboard just annoys me. Like copying and pasting on an iPhone just seems so much harder to me than on an Android. And I don't get that. I don't get why it's like that. I feel like Certain things are not being brought up to date, like up to 2023, as far as the way the system operate. Also, specifically for this 14 Pro, I'm a guy who likes to watch content on my cellular devices. And uh, the dynamic island has just been a big hindrance to me. When I first seen it in the Apple event last year, I thought it was going to be more useful. I thought it was going to spend, this is how it spends most of its time, guys, blank black hole in the display and it's really in the way because okay this is a 6.1 inch phone you can still consume content on here but because of the size of the display you know this is what i like as an iphone i like this size i like this compact device so i shouldn't be losing this much display just for basically i feel like no reason i feel like it could be one hole punch in here for um, a front facing camera combined with some type of face ID and they could get it done. Or start finding out how to use some under display technology. I feel like the dynamic island is just the forest. All it is is a hole in the display. Basically they got, they put a big hole in the display because they didn't want to innovate and then they put animations around the hole in the display. That's not a feature guys. That's, they, they, they lied. That's not a feature putting a hole in the display because you didn't want to innovate calling the innovation and just putting the animations that doesn't make any sense outside of that guys for real honestly i choose this as my productivity device this combined with my ipad guys is a serious combination of productivity i notice when i get on the iphone it's to be productive because i'm not really doing too much other things than production because i'm not going to be watching content on my iPhone. And when it comes to this camera system, when this basically this started with the iPhone 6S Plus and I think the first iPad Pro for me, the first generation, I bought that combination. And once I bought that combination and I start airdropping and I start using LumaFusion, I was hooked. So I'm still hooked, guys. Like this device gets some really, this device has the best camera system to me because it's the most consistent. I'm not gonna say it looks the best aesthetically, but what I'm gonna say is I can do a hundred tasks on it with this camera and not have an issue. We're on the Android side of things, even though Samsung is getting close to being just like Apple with the video, I don't have any issues. Um, I can, you take this device, record different videos, send it straight to my iPad, nothing is crashing, audio wasn't missing, things of that nature. Like, it's almost a flawless, when you, when I want to get it done with video, 
I pick up my iPhone. I do have a dedicated camera, but the easiness and the quality I feel like that I get from the iPhone's camera is good enough for what I'm doing and it makes it easy enough where I can be consistent. So that's one thing that I really love about the iPhone is the camera system. Also guys, with the iPhone, what I love is the the Apple processors. The Well, this device has the A16 Bionic. We know we're in the time of the A17 Pro, but the Bionic chips, the Bionic processors have been really good as far as my iPad and my iPhone, as far as dealing with video and rendering videos. As we know, I try to be, you know, competitive on YouTube. Anything you should do, you should want to get better at. So one of my goals was just to make sure that all my uploads is in 4K. And I can do that with this combination very easy. It's not an issue. I'm not waiting for a long rendering. It's not, you know, the files are just moving smoothly between these two devices. So that's just where I keep it, between these two devices for the most part. I am doing some stuff with my Z Fold 5 now, but for the most part, a lot of the times what I'm doing with my Z Fold 5 is recording it. And this is the combination right here that makes everything just work flawlessly so I can be consistent and keep bringing y'all those uploads. So when it comes to video processing, when it comes to the video camera, and then when it comes to editing and rendering 4K, um, this is golden for me, going straight from the iPhone to the iPad and straight to YouTube, I, I love it. Honestly, one thing that we gotta be honest about, even if you look back in the day, BlackBerry, BlackBerry had it on lock because BlackBerry had BlackBerry Messenger and that's what everybody wanted to use and everybody wanted to be on. So even if it wasn't all about the BlackBerry, the reason that I had the BlackBerry, you just wanted to have BlackBerry Messenger because it was trendy as the thing that everybody is on. So now in the United States, in this country, our message have taken over. So when you do have that iPhone, that ability to have an iPhone, our message, you know, phone and number, it kind of puts you in the realm of what I call the Apple elites. People that think that only Apple is the only required phone, people who think when they go to upgrade their phone, they never think outside of Apple. They just know it's time to get the new iPhone. But this is the, like a like 60% of the country right now. So even when the people that you love near and dear to live in the house with you, everybody's on iMessage, everybody have an iPhone, everybody's FaceTiming, everybody's group FaceTiming. So... You gotta go with the flow sometimes. Again, this is the premier messaging device for the United States right now. This is the face of communications for Americans, literally. I also just like Apple because they have a brick and mortar. They have more brick and mortars than anybody. Like, I feel like it's time for Samsung to get more brick and mortars throughout the country, Google to get more brick and mortars because it's at least two or three Apple stores that I could get to. But like Samsung stores, there's not that many I'm in the country. Google stores, not that many I'm in the country in different states but in every state or in every area you're going to find an apple store and those apple stores are really good they have some really good service you get to see all the devices out all the devices working you're getting excited you're seeing laptops ipads you're seeing everything is on and you're seeing all the the cases and accessories and drones it make you want to spend money but the continuity is amazing so i'm a person that have realized that silicon m1 m2 was coming next m3 laptops is the way to go for me especially when i want to do things and video production and editing things of that nature is a, is a win it makes it easy it makes me productive so when i got the the laptop and i got the ipad of course to just to make the content you know i can have a little iphone in the cut because it just make life easier so that ecosystem and that continuity is, is very good also. That's why I keep an iPhone because it's gonna always be an iPad and it's gonna always be a MacBook around. But um, it's your boy BG Tech Life. Thanks for watching. If you're watching, make sure you subscribe. I'm out. Peace.